Good morning, everybody. MG here. MG Covers bringing you a brand new sports handicapping video. Title of this video is the most overrated stat in Major League Baseball. And I'm also going to reveal the most underrated stat in Major League Baseball. Before we do that, as always, if you're watching this video for the first time, hey, greatly appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Uh, it helps the channel grow. You guys know how it works. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, MG Covers, cover spell with the Z. Give out a ton of content on Instagram and Twitter as well. And with regards to the YouTube channel, if you're interested in learning about this business, if you subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, your handicapping will improve. Absolutely free to do that. All you have to do is, quote, watch the videos. All right, so that being said, let's dive into Major League Baseball uh, handicapping for 2023. And as you guys know, I made some, if you follow me on Instagram, I made a couple, I made a pretty significant tweet to the model, and that was on Sunday morning, and here were the results the last two days since we did that. We were basically close to even going into Sunday, and again, these, I'm not personally wagering yet, real money, I'm doing what we call ghost wagers, and this application here is Bet Stamps, a really good app that can track, you know, your net amount, your ROI, and your closing line value. And this was the first day here. Tampa was the winner. The model only showed one play last night. A lot of volume, more than normal. Uh, five plays went three and two. So really solid uh, last couple of days with these changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into it. The, the most overrated stat in Major League Baseball, I'm not saying that it's not important, but it's overrated and overvalued, is starting pitching. The line, the majority of the time, will be based on starting pitching. And there's a couple problems with that is because that's not inclusive to what determines the outcome of the games. There's basically three parts of Major League Baseball, right? You have starting pitching, important, but it's overvalued. And we, we know it's overvalued because they, they list the starting pitcher in all the lines. The second part of handicapping um, – for Major League Baseball is hitting. Hitting is very important. And then the third, and this is the most undervalued aspect of Major League Baseball handicapping is bullpens. People don't talk about it, but it will determine the outcome. It can act, it can lose a game. I don't know that it would necessarily win a game, but it can definitely lose a game, and it happens every single night. So I want to show you, let's go back to we're going to go back to Sunday and to show you something here. So let's scroll all the way down to my model had model had the Cubs against uh, Dodgers. I can't remember my exact line, but the line was minus 230 for Dodgers. Chicago Cubs were plus 195. And you say, well, why was the line that strong of a favorite it was because of starting pitcher starting pitcher for the dodgers urias okay he had won three straight he was they won this one nine and one won this one five and two eight and two so the line again proving my point the most overrated stat in major league baseball is starting pitching but the line if you think about this and this is going to help you improve your handicapping so that line was basically based on one player a starting pitching. And again, like I've just said, there's two other aspects to handicapping baseball that are important. Hitting and bullpen. All right. So, and then also too, I think this is very important to know. Not only is it going to be overvalued. Oops, let me pull this other one up. Not only is it going to be overvalued in the line itself, it's going to be overvalued in line movement. And this is the closing line for that game we're looking at you look at the line was minus 221 at around 330 and by the time that game went off and closed it was minus 231 so therefore and this is important for me to know that's why i'm letting you guys know as well the line's going to always move not always but i would say even more than 60 percent of the time if the if the team is playing their ace or their ace is on the mound an overwhelming majority of the time, that line is going to move in their favor. So, therefore, if you're on a team 
like I was with Chicago, meaning like however you handicap, you're like, okay, my model favors the Cubs here. You have to understand and not overreact to this line movement. Because if this team is playing, has their ace on the mound, that line is going to move in their favor. So it's not like, like the normal way that I teach, okay, late line movement favors the Dodgers here. You can't handicap that way with regards to, quote, good starting pitching. We already know it's, number one, it's overvalued anyway, and then that line's going to move in favor of the Dodgers. Now, here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying to fade good starting pitching because if you do that, you'll lose. Okay? My point is is that just showing you how the lines are constructed. It's always going to be shaded towards the better pitcher. In this case, it was Urias here. It's all, that's how it works. And then with regards to the line movement, that line movement will always move in favor of the good starting pitcher. So just understand that. In a lot of ways, it's almost like a public line move. Um, if you don't know what a public line move is, just go to my channel or just Google inside of YouTube I might put a link in there in this video. Uh, MG covers public line move, and I kind of explain that. Okay. And Chicago wins that game. And I think I think Arias gave up this home run here as well. I don't think this was bullpen. Let's go look at the box score. Let's scroll down here. Yep, he gave up two home runs. Got... Gave up eight hits, did not have his best stuff. But again, you say, well, why did my model have Chicago as a favorite? It's because I had Chicago graded better hitting team, better overall pitching, including starting pitching and relief pitching. Okay? Now, let's go to the model itself. Now, what I've done, the changes I've made – and I don't want to talk, I have this real strict criteria. So yesterday, the only teams we were considering, and I have a, a system that helps me determine these teams, was Milwaukee, Toronto, Baltimore, Cubs, Mets, Atlanta, Tampa. Teams that can hit the ball and teams that have good pitching. Now, a mistake I made in the past with regards to handicapping baseball is a game like this, Cleveland-Detroit. My line for Cleveland, plus 113. Line for Detroit was plus 105. I think this game was rained out or – I'm not sure why they didn't play, but I don't think they played. No. But let me just use this for a good point here. The old days, I would classify this as a 50-50 game, right? Meaning both teams are relatively even. That would favor the underdog if they are plus 120 or greater. That means if these two teams play hypothetically 10 times, underdog would win half of those. At plus 120, you would have positive expected value. Um for the duration of that, quote, um, hypothetical series. <clears throat> However, the reason why I don't like 50-50 games with bad teams is both of these teams struggle to hit the ball. Both of these teams have bad pitching. So now we have two unpredictable elements, and I don't want unpredictable elements. This is unpredictable. This over here is predictable for the most part because if I play a bad team in a 50-50 game, what happens, let's say that that particular game, they struggle to hit the ball, they give up two, they score two runs, and then they their bullpen gives up another five. And the opposing teams ends up scoring two runs to match their two, but the bad bullpen gives up five runs, and then you lose that one seven to two. So that's why I don't like 50-50 games. Now, we're still going to play 50-50 games, which I guess <clears throat> this would have, well, that was last night. Go back to this game from Sunday night. I'm not sure the line I had for Dodgers. I think I had them as a favorite, but also had Cubs as a favorite as well. So we're still going to play these games like this, but we want to make sure that this team can hit the ball and has a has a good, good bullpen. Okay? So just to sort of run through this from yesterday. So the, the games we actually played, and I, and I do have lines, but – this part is the most important part, but I did make it where it has lines, but it might not have value. It might not show value, my model, as it does in other models. So we had Tampa here. That was a loss. Tough game for them. Toronto was a loss. And then these next four plays, Milwaukee won, 
cashed on the run line. Atlanta won, cashed on the run line. Chicago won, cashed on the run line. Mets won and cashed on the run line. Now, I want to use a couple of these games to illustrate that point about starting pitcher being starting pitching being overvalued, relief pitching being extremely undervalued. So let's look at the Milwaukee-Seattle game. So we have both of these teams as a favorite. We weren't going to play Seattle. The team we were considering was Milwaukee. So in this particular game, the X means it's just a, a game under consideration to play. And take a look at this box score. Okay, Monday night. We go down here to – all right, look at Milwaukee. Look what happens to Milwaukee. So this game was – Milwaukee wins this game 7-3. to three. Look what happens in sixth through ninth inning. Look what happens to Seattle bullpen. bullpen. Gave up one in the sixth, two in the seventh, one in the ninth. So that was four runs. That basically determined the outcome of the game. The bullpen determined the outcome of that game. They scored four runs in, from six, seven, eight, and nine. And let's see, the starting pitcher may have still been in during that time. Let's see if he was. Yep. Yep, so he was still in during that time. Um, so in that case, that was on the starting pitcher. But then if you look here, the bullpen did gave up another three runs. So that did, I mean, still to prove my point, that determined the outcome of the game. All right, let's go over here to the Dodgers, Mets and the Dodgers. You look at my line. Model had the Mets again, minus 133. My line for the Dodgers was plus 115. So in this case, it was either Mets or no play. And look what happens in the, let's see if this was bullpen that gave up that run. Oh, I'm sure it was. Yeah, I remember this. I watched some of this. Yep, there goes your bullpen. Gave up three. So the outcome of this game was determined by what? By the bullpen. So the point is, and the, what I want you to grasp in this video, is that the most overvalued aspect is starting is starting pitching. I'm not saying it's not important, but I'm saying it's overvalued, and the line will always be shaded to one side. So if a line is shaded to one side, then where's the value? The value will be on the opposite side. And again, I'm not, again, I'm not saying to fade starting pitching. Just want to make a point that it's overvalued. And what is undervalued, extremely undervalued, is bullpen play. So anyway, um, super excited about the uh, changes we've made with the model um, and looking forward to seeing the results here a little bit later. Uh, we'll continue to do ghost wagers for me probably another week before we actually start wa wagering live. But these lines are up on the website for me. So if you want access to this, uh, you can get that. 50 bucks a month. There's a link to join in the description. You also get access to soccer as well as NBA playoffs right now. And you get access to all the coaching videos on the website. It's about 150 coaching videos that are only accessible by members. If you want access to everything I just mentioned, in addition to all my plays for all sports, that's 100 bucks a month. Um, had a really solid week in soccer last week. Uh, had three wagers, won all three. Uh, link to join the description. If you want to join for an entire year, that's the best value. You save about a $600 on a year. You can join, get everything on the entire site for 500 bucks for an entire year. Hope this video helped. Remember, starting pitching is very overvalued. And don't forget about handicapping relief pitching. Very, very, very undervalued. Peace.